hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. St. James Central MP Heroy Clark says he will be moving a motion in Parliament for DNA paternity test at birth to determine fatherhood. This Madam Speaker, I believe, will stem majority of the domestic violence in our society. According to Dr. Herbert Gill, doing a study conduct here in Jamaica, one of the causes of domestic violence stems from paternal issues. The police have again taken into custody 33-year-old Vincent Dunn, the ex-boyfriend of 27-year-old Makeda Hudson, who died in September when the car in which they were traveling plunged into the Rio Cobra. The police say Dunn will be charged with attempting to pervert the course of justice and breaches of the Disaster Risk Management Act. Opposition spokesman on health Dr. Maurice Guy has alleged that there is an ongoing scam involving COVID PCR testing made available in minutes. Dr. Guy says he has reported the matter to the relevant authorities. Acting Chief Education Officer Dr. Kassan Troop says despite the current negative connotation associated with the word pathway, there is no plan to change the name of the government's new program for secondary schools. The sixth form Pathways program has been subjected to negative remarks arising from the controversial Pathways International Kingdom Restoration Ministries in Montego Bay, St. James. In sports, New Zealand today beat England by five wickets to reach Sunday's final of the ICC T20 Men's World Cup. In your currency trading today, it was costing $156.73 for one US dollar, the British pound sterling for $211.39, and the Canadian dollar for $126.34. In your weather forecast, Thursday morning will see isolated showers across sections of northern parishes. In the afternoon, there will be widely scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms, mainly across central and western parishes. It will be partly cloudy elsewhere. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.